Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. Over to you, big fella, because right. the show is Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel, and I'm glad it is. Yeah, oh, thank you, because I had two men in my house last night, and I don't know how they got there. Actually, can so, we, should we read the text message that you sent us? Should I do yeah. that? Okay, yeah, read the text message. Have you got that? You'll, pick, you'll um, okay. um, find that quicker than me. Okay, so we had 9.22pm, mm-hmm. two men just entered my house while I was home alone. I saw my life flash before my eyes. I'll explain on air and it will all make perfect sense, but I just had the wildest 20 minutes. So I'm up in my off- office, which is upstairs, or Jack's office slash music room. Hang on, the room yeah. that I play shivers in? The, the warm-up room for shivers, yes. Oh, you right. know that room well. Um, <laughs> we and the chords out for the performances. Yeah, vocal warm-ups. Um, and I am on the phone to my mother, because of course I am. I speak to her, you know, three times a day. And I hear this banging on the front door, on the front gate. Yep. And then the, and they're like, a, a really deep, like, hello, hello. And I see said to mum, mum, I'll be back in a second. It's probably the neighbours because, you know, we live in Melbourne. Every sh- We share walls. But I'm just going to check it's not someone here for me. And um, so I go down and I walk down my stairs and there are two men in, like, the front, in the front sort of, like, foyer, if you yeah. want to call it that. Like at the of bottom my of the house, stairs. At the bottom of the stairs with, like, rough-looking men with beer cans in their hand smoking. Now, I've just arrived home from work because it's obvious what time I finish work and Jack's just left. So if you're profiling the house, you've worked out that I'm home alone. And um, so they go, they go, like, they kind of don't really say anything immediately. And I go, oh, this is it. This is it. I'm, I'm about to get murdered. And then they say, does a does a dog live here? And now remember, a year ago, there were some people trying to yes. steal your girlfriend. Yes. And I went, oh my gosh, it's finally happening. This is the moment I lose my life. So now I'm thinking, I'm, I'm trapped by the stairs, can't get to the bedroom, can't get to the baseball bat. And also I can't get up, like if I go upstairs, I trap myself even further. Or you'll and fall like, and break your ribs. I'll again. fall and break my ribs. And I'm like, do I throw my Acra at them or my GQ Man of the Year award or something? Or your hashtag and, from Typo. Or my hashtag from Typo. And anyway, they so I'm like not I'm not connecting with them, and I'm like, uh, and I'm I'm really freaking out. And then they said your garage door is open, and I think your dog has run away. And I was like, oh, okay. So they were doing a good deed. So, but why why were they in your house? Is what I want to know. Why would Jack, they come inside your house? Because Jack obviously hasn't clo- the, hasn't closed the garage door properly, and girlfriend's and, got out. And, and because I'm up in the office, I'm taking a moment to come downstairs. So they're fully in the house. So I leave them in the house. I'm in like boxes in a singlet and I go running after girlfriend and I'm like, which way did she go? And they're like, she's blocks away. So she was over, she'd run all the way over to the park. Oh, she loves the park. She's a dog. She loves she's the, mad park. the park. But I'm freaking out that she's run up to Chapel Street and like she's going to be like run over. So I get to the park and someone has let her in to the park at least to to sort of to like her in get the little container. Area. Yeah. And people and I can't get her. She's not coming to me. And people are going, just let her play. And I'm like, I can't let her play. I've left the bloody house, the garage door open. Where are the two, two men? The robbers There's, are in my house. I don't know where they are. I've got I don't know if you they're now in your house. I well because I've got a tr- I was like, you know, that mum that lifts the, the, the car off the baby, like just my maternal instincts kicked in <laughs> and I had to <laughs> get, you know save my baby. So I'm running around the park going, girlfriend, come here, girlfriend, come here. But people kept saying to me, no, but what's her name? And I'm like, girlfriend. <laughs> and they're not getting it. They think I'm just being a sassy gay going, girlfriend, get over well, here. a bit of that, a bit of that. Right? So then Did you I have see undies the- on under your boxes? I can't remember. <laughs> I, I, I don't think so. under your boxes? Boxes well, are under no, I'm asking him because if he's running around the streets with a, you know... Well, then, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, right. so then the two blokes, they have left my house. They've wandered down to the park to catch the show. That, turns out they're really nice guys. And so they're, <laughs> we're all kind of like, all of us, you know, Richmond gays are running around trying to grab girlfriend. And then these two guys are just standing on the sidelines smoking ha- and, and having a beer. And one of them goes, 
were you on the amazing race? <laughs> and as I'm running around trying to catch girlfriend, I just turned around and just yelled out, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. And kept, <laughs> like, running after girlfriend. So... If the people in the park didn't know who I was, they thought I was a lunatic so who no. thought I was a celebrity <laughs> and I'm calling my dog girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, like, that's exactly, exactly, that's exactly, exactly what you are. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On-